For our tip of the week this week, I'm going to talk about creating a design board for interior presentations. This is really important when we talk about materials because one of the things that is very common uh, with an interior design workflow is to um, <clears throat> is to be able to show material and color samples as well as furniture selections, rendering sketches, and example styles. And these are some uh, uh, examples off the web um, that I just kind of pulled off some different interior designers. Uh, shows really good examples of how material boards are often created uh, for interior design presentations, uh, where you know they show different colors, um, different types of material samples, uh, the different types of furniture that these get applied to. It's usually some type of theme like 50s frolic uh, for interior design office with different notes and stuff for that. Um, sometimes renderings within this. It could be sketches. It could be actual uh, uh, physical renderings from you know, Archicad or, or other software. Uh, but these are very common as a uh, design uh, boards that get uh, that you can um, would use as part of an interior design workflow. So in Archicad, or I'm sorry, and, and, and the other thing that's also common is that um, is that interior designers will often use pro, uh, page layout programs like Adobe InDesign. This is a uh, good example from uh, InDesign where um, interior designer is using it to lay out uh, the, um, you know, maybe a, a floor plan um, uh, cutaway uh, from a 3D model uh, with uh, examples of different types of uh, materials and um, furnishings that they're going to use for that particular uh, design theme. And this is a very, very common type practice, again, uh, in using interior design or some other page layout to kind of create uh, these design boards. So in Archicad, we can do the same thing. And this is what I've been really um, talking about with uh, you know, our, to our Archicad users for many years now. Um, and what and, and is a real advantage for our Archicad users and for you guys is that you can create design boards using Archicad's uh, layout book. And so these are two good examples from interior designers uh, who use Archicad where they've used it to uh, lay out different types of, of materials uh, to show as examples of top, uh, where they've used uh, renderings uh, that they placed into these layouts, uh, where they've used uh, different types of, of examples from uh, different uh, uh, furniture or um, uh, different uh, uh, themes that they want to show, and really creating kind of these boards that they use as part of their presentation that can combines Archicad renderings, Archicad views with material samples, furnishing samples, uh, uh, just kind of examples of style for what they're they're trying to uh, to do with with these um, uh, design ideas. The way you create this is by using the layout book as a page layout, much like you would uh, within Design to create a design board. And so in Archicad. We can go to our layout book. We can create different design boards, such as option one, option two, option three. We can begin then to create that design board uh, very easily uh, within this um, Archicad's uh, layout book. Because, and one of the real advantages of Archicad's layout book is the fact that we can actually uh, import and in place all kinds of image files on here. And so the first thing you want to do is to create a master layout uh, using auto text. So if you've not done this before, you basically go in, click your um, uh, new master layout, uh, type in the information you need, uh, go OK to create that, and then start to place your uh, logo, uh, your the name of your company, if you're into design, um, maybe an auto text for things like project name, uh, this, the project or site, full address, information like that, this auto text information that you want auto, to fill in automatically at the beginning of projects. And then once you've done that, you can begin to use place external drawing to start to place PDFs, uh, images, uh, renderings, um, and, and, and of course, you can also start to drag and drop views uh, from Archicad's uh, uh, view map right onto here for um, 
your plans and other things that you may be developing in ARCHICAD to begin to assemble a design board. And that's really all the, you know, the, the, the steps to it. It's pretty easy. But the real advantage, of course, in ARCHICAD is the fact that we can create very rich, very graphical types of presentations using the uh, layout book in ARCHICAD, much like you would with a page layout program like InDesign. And that is our uh, tip of the week this